Today I'm going to teach you how to make my famous aches and pains, bumps and bruises salve. It works great for any kind of internal wound or pain, including arthritis, injuries, for achy joints, bruises, sore muscles, anti-inflammatory, cramps, and more. Um, I like to use cutting boards as flat surfaces because I'm always working on the stove. I have the individual um, containers that the salve's going to go into. I have some olive oil. I like to use coconut oil as well, but I just didn't have any on hand. And this is St. John's wort infused oil. And then we have ginger root essential oil clove bud oil, essential oil, sorry, and some golden jojoba oil. And then I also have beeswax. I buy this um, offline off eBay from a bee farm. And then I have my saucepan. Now, um, because we have hard water in Arizona, when I do this, it kind of messes up the pan, as you can see, so this has become my um, double, bo double boiler pan, that's all I use it for. So um, this is how I make shift to double boilers. You just put the water in here and turn on the stove, and then you can heat up the oils in the measuring cup, and it won't burn them. What I've already done is I've, I've put water in the saucepan and I'm just warming that up and I'm going to let it get warmer than I'm going to use it so I'm going to put it on high for now and so I'm going to come back when it's boiling and turn down the heat to a medium and then I'm going to start warming up my oils and melting my beeswax. As you can see I got my water boiling. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down. Now while that's cooling off, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, infused oil, shake it up real good because I had some plant particles down here. And now I'm going to go ahead and just use all of this. So I pour in my St. John's Wort infused oil. Now I don't put essential oils in until after we add the after the beeswax is melted because I don't want to evaporate any of the essential oil. I don't think I need any um, olive oil, but if you needed extra oil, you can go ahead and add that. Um, I like to cut up the beeswax so that it melts quicker, and I don't have to use as much. I don't have to keep it on the heat as long. Alright, so I have my beeswax. I'm going to come over to my water that is Calm down, not such a wild boil. And now, I prefer using a wooden chopstick to do this. And we're just going to go ahead and warm this up. And again, this is on a medium heat. You do not want to have it on a high heat. You don't want to be impatient and use high heat because you'll cook out all the herbs. And then all you have left is nothing but cooked oil and wax. Just set that aside. Just let that go for a while. 
And you're going to have to do this until the beeswax is fully melted. Alright, my beeswax is getting uh, melted and mixed up in there. It's about halfway done, halfway melted. Okay, beeswax is almost completely melted. And we've got a few small pieces still in here. Okay, now I know they're not completely melted, but I also know that they are small enough pieces that they're just going to go ahead and melt before I get these in. Because I still have a few things to do. I need to add jojoba oil. You don't need much. I like to add it because it's just really good for the skin. So any salves, I just add that to it. Now I need to add my clove essential oil. Lastly, we need ginger root essential oil. Now I have perfected this recipe down to these three main herbs that you have to have. You cannot make this without all three. Ginger is what helps the salve penetrate through the skin and down deep into muscles and joints. The clove helps numb any pain and the St. John's War oil also helps with um, relieving pain and just soothes muscles and joints. Alright and the beeswax is completely melted in there. Now these are four containers. I got this, um, I got all of these in a pack of I believe 10 for a dollar at the uh, Dollar Tree. They are wonderful containers for salves. They also come in rectangle shape. Alright, now we want to pour it in. Now I'm going to put this immediately in the sink and start running hot water and that helps it uh, to easily clean out the measuring cup. Another good thing is to take the boiling water and put it in there. Pour it in there. Now that we've got the salves in the containers, we're going to go ahead and put them in the refrigerator. Now this is why I have the cutting board because it's a lot easier to transport them, especially when they're in their liquid state, to the refrigerator. Um, you can just leave them out, but I prefer to do them in the refrigerator um, and cool them off quicker and get them sealed up and ready to go. And we'll be back when they're cooled off. All right, so I just brought them out of the fridge. They are done and ready to go. And just put the lid on. And then put a label on. For achy joints, bruises, sore muscles, anti-inflammatory, cramps, and more.